everyone welcome to put your makeup on my name is Katie and together on my channel we find our beauty within if that sounds awesome to you don't forget to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you how I'm gonna do my makeup tips and tricks for you while I am wearing a face mask and we all know it's important to wear one. We all know we should be wearing one. And why not look fresh and awake even though, even though, half our face is covered. This is how we do it on Put Your Makeup On, so just keep watching. One, one, three, four. Wearing a face mask is something that I never thought I would have to do, especially ever since the coronavirus situation made headlines. But we all know now that we should be wearing one. Um, of course, where I live in New York, it is mandated that we have to wear one, especially if you want to enter a store or a business things like that. So I literally have so many face masks now. I feel like it's like a face mask collection at this point. All different styles, all different, you know, colors and this and that. But nonetheless, I feel like having one, wearing it, that's the important reason. And I know this is not the most important video in the entire world. Obviously that there are more pressing matters to talk about. But I feel like with makeup, you know, I'm here for not only entertainment, but also to just show you tips and tricks and kind of give you a little bit more confidence of wearing makeup, again, even though hair for a face is covered. So basically what we're going to be doing today is focusing on the eye area. And of course, if you have your face mask ready, let's start. So I'm going to basically put my face mask on. And mine is the type where you do have to kind of tie it in the back. I'm not going to tie it up just yet, but hopefully you guys can hear me through the mask. But when you pop your face mask on, you do want to kind of see where it is laying on the face. So that's one thing to note when you're putting your makeup on and things like that is noting where it's physically hitting the face and especially by the chin area as well. Of course, with different types of face masks, some might be tighter, some might be a little looser. So those are just some things to note of where they're physically hitting you on the skin. Now, if you're like me, I work retail. I work seven to eight hours at a time. So I personally do not do a full-blown routine of makeup uh, while I am at work. So we are not going to be doing a full-blown routine today. We're going to be making sure our skin stays protected and our lips. So let's get started with a little bit of moisturizer. And of course, feel free to use any moisturizer that you feel works for you. Whether you are dry or oily or combo, it still is important, even though our mask is covering our face, it still is important to keep our skin protected. So the one that I'm using today is from Drunk Elephant. This is the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. And I'm just gonna be taking a little bit. Of course, if yours is a jar like mine, make sure your hands are clean. And we're just gonna basically put it on as we normally would. Now it is summer where I live in New York. And of course, if you're going to be out and about all day long, I would highly, highly recommend applying an SPF in this main general region since that is part of the body that is being hit by the sun. I do not plan on going out uh, for the rest of the day, so I'm going to be skipping SPF, but I would highly recommend wearing an SPF. Our eyes and the skin in that area, we still want to make sure that is protected. That is the area that, again, we're going to be focusing on, and that's not being covered by the mask. So, in that instance, we want to make sure that area stays hydrated. I am applying the Ola Hendrickson Banana Eye Bright Eye Cream, and I'm going to be applying this again with my ring finger and just doing a light little amount of it. So, 
We're first going in with a little bit of primer, and the one that I'm using is from Urban Decay. This is the Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer, and we're just going to do a little bit everywhere. I like to use the applicator and then use my fingers for this part because using the fingers, you can really feel where it's going. And it just kind of helps melt the product in a little bit better. So I'm going to apply the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. I really like this palette because it does have really good variety of all the different colors I need to create a simple everyday type of look. Even though we're wearing our face mask, again, we still want to look fresh, alive, and awake, and all that jazz. So we're going to go in with the shade Burnt Orange first in our palette. And we're just going to do a little bit in the crease area. If you guys have watched any of my tutorials, you guys know I like to keep things simple and easy. I don't like to do, on my channel, I don't like to do insane crazy looks, even though they're, they're really fun to watch. Like I'm all about a really good editorial look and a good smoky eye and things like that. But what I'm, when I'm teaching, because essentially this is what I do for a living, when I'm teaching, I like to keep it simple, beginner friendly, and just basic. Do it Sienna right next to the burnt orange in the palette. And I'm just going to deepen up the crease and the outer corner ever so slightly. So I just took the shade Fairy on my flat shader brush and I'm basically applying this on the lid. And you guys, my brush is not wet, by the way, and look how much pigment you're getting with that shade. Hello. Just going to go back in, blend that out a little bit. If you think you're done blending, blend some more. And that's pretty much it as far as the eyeshadow goes. I'm just going to take a little bit of the Tempora shade and I'm just going to apply a little bit underneath my brows. We are going to fill in the brows a little bit afterwards, after concealer and whatnot. I am weird. I like to do my brows last. Truthfully speaking, you don't have to do eyeliner if you don't want to. I like to do a little eyeliner because I feel without it, I just feel a little naked. So we're going to just do a little bit of eyeliner super fast. Mascara for today is the Monster Big from Lancome, and I am using the waterproof version. Like I said, it's pretty hot where I live, and as far as longevity, I am all for it. Especially because my eyes are very teary and watery since I do wear contacts and glasses. I like to make sure my mascara doesn't flake or smudge throughout the day. My dark circles are pretty bad in person and on camera. They looking bad. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of uh, face primer. This is the Benefit Professional Primer. And we're just going to do a very light little amount. Kind of like where I notice the pores. Of course, I'm not doing it everywhere. Since, again, you know, I mainly would do it mostly all here, but since the face mask is going to cover it, we'll do just a very light little amount. It, this is a great primer for overall protection, so I like to do just a little bit of something, nothing crazy. For concealer, I chose the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. Generally, I would go a little bit lighter in my concealer when I am wearing foundation 
But since I am skipping foundation for today because I just feel there is just not really a need to wear it. And especially because I don't have a lot to cover in that main region. So again, I'm skipping it all together. I'm just going to do concealer. For this, I'm only going to apply it where I feel like I need it. So this color I am using is 130. It's a very, very similar shade to my uh, skin tone where... I, it's not going to look overly too bright. Like I said, you could go a little bit lighter if you are wearing the full face. But again, we're mainly just focusing in this main area. And I am a brush girl. I like to use brushes with my concealer. If you want to use a sponge, by all means. Now, being that my face mask kind of hits around here, I'm not going to do the entire nose. Being that the fact that I also don't want to get my mask, you know, insanely, you know, dirty either. You know, sometimes you see people wearing masks where there's like makeup stains all around it. I don't want that. So that's definitely something to consider as well. This has been my routine for a couple days now since I am back at work. We've been open to the public for a week now. So this has been uh, a similar routine to what I've been doing in, you know, real life. Just a little bit of concealer, you know, a little bit of lip balm and, you know, mascara and this and that. So very, very close to what I've been doing, you know, on an everyday basis. Now the concealer is fully blended in. I do want to make sure that this does not go anywhere. So I'm going to do a little bit of powder. And for that, I am using the Milk Makeup Loose Powder in specifically the shade Translucent Medium. Before I finish off the under eye area, I'm just going to lightly fill in my brows. Now, personally, my brows really don't need a lot because I already have full brows on their own. I do have a very uh, small amount of sparseness in this area, so I typically do like to fill that area in, but I would say since... There's really nothing touching the brows. I would say just do your brows how you normally would. So I feel like this part is just personally just up to you. But I'm just filling them in. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown. My hair is very thick and unruly. I like to do a little bit of a tinted brow gel to help lock them in place. And for that, I'm using the Kush Fiber Brow Gel from Milk again. Uh, this is the shade called Dutch. I really like the applicator on this one since it's super small so I can get really good precision. And it also colors them in a little bit as well so everything looks nice and uniformed. So lastly, for the eyes, I know we are looking a little top-heavy. So we're just going to do a very light amount of shadow on the bottom just so everything looks a little bit more put together, more complete. So I'm going to go back into my Anastasia Soft Glam Palette and I'm just going to go in with the shade Rustic on my fluffy blending brush. And since we are wearing a face mask, I myself, for my job, I talk a lot. So I like to make sure my lips stay nice and hydrated as possible. So for lip balm, I'm using the Milk Kush Lip Balm, which I actually am almost out of it. I'm so sad. I, like, have to buy a new one. I'm, like, down to, like, the nitty-gritty. I have to, like, use my fingernail to get some out. But this stuff is so good, though. And my lips will stay nice and hydrated as I am wearing my face mask. So as you can see here, that it looks like I have a full face of makeup on, even though I really don't. 
It's literally just all of this with a little bit of lip balm on. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you get the chance to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. I thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. And I shall see you in next week's video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.